say thank you Jesus for your grace your mercy your favor upon my life I am in your presence give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name Amen you may be seated thank you Luke chapter 9 because of time, let me just encourage you with a few words. Luke chapter 9, verse 28. Prayer is a way to communicate with our Father in heaven. And when you are praying, it is not your voice that you need to hear. You need to see the presence of God. If you can't see or feel the presence of God, you are just talking to yourself. Jesus came to introduce you to this life. That whenever you are praying, whether you are in, inside the house, you are on the mountain, the presence of God must be seen and feel to change your life. That is the purpose, and that is the reason why we need to pray. Verse 28. About eight days before Jesus said this, he took Peter, John, and James with him and went up unto the mountains to pray. 29. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed, and his face crossed with become as blighter as a flash of lightning. Let me repeat 29. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed, and his clothes became as whiter as a flash of lightning. 30. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious spreader, talking with Jesus. One. They spoke about his departure, which was about to bring to fulfillment at Jerusalem. 32. But Peter and his companions were very sleep. But when they became fully awake, they saw glory and the two men standing with him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus went to the mountain to pray. He took John, Peter, and James. Immediately, he started playing. It is the Bible, it's not me. His face changed. His clothes changed. The Bible says that his clothes were flashing like lightning. During that time, two men appeared. Moses and Elijah, the Bible says that they were talking with Jesus about his departure. People of God, being a child of God, it is not enough for you to know that you are a member of the church. You don't know what is next to you. You don't know the future. Even when you are fasting, you don't know what is ahead of you. What made Jesus to be, you know, Jesus with that confidence is because when he prayed, he will see his father in heaven who will answer him. He will see the power. Even where people are aiming to kill him, you know, at the time when God not, you know, permitted them to do that. The power of God will be present to sustain Jesus and he will be able to say it's not yet time. When you are praying, what is your experience? When you are fasting, what is your experience? What do you see? What do you feel? Who do you communicate with? Who is around you when you are praying? Because the life of Jesus, it is the foundation of your life as a child of God. You can't say no because he was a, a son of God. He came to introduce you to that life, that this is the way you are supposed to 
to pray. And when you are praying, the power of my father must be present. Prayer is the way of communicating with God. It is not just, you know, talking and people are able to hear your voice. No. That is the way we communicate. And when you pray, you see the power of God. You feel the presence of God. You experience his touch. There you know that my prayer has what? Answered. This is the question, people of God. When you are praying, who is there with you? What is the sign? How do you know that God has already answered your prayer? How do you know that you are in the presence of God? When you see, more especially in your dream, it is only snakes that you see around your life. Think twice about your spiritual life. It's not me, it's the Bible. If you look at verse 30, two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendor, talking with Jesus. About what? They spoke about his departure. A child of God is someone who depends on God's direction. Is someone who hears from God, who cannot make any decision unless if you hear from your Father in heaven. There are people who doesn't care about their salvation. All what they want is to enjoy this life. They can say anything. They can do anything. Whether God, you know, is there with them or not, they don't care as long as there's something which can make their body happy or feel good. That is not life. That is not life. Moses appeared and Elijah. I'm sure they came to deliver a message. Apart from the sign that you have seen upon your life, we have been sent by your father that you overcome the world. Because he was feeling it in the body that things will be sour very soon. And God Almighty was able to see the weakness of the flesh which Jesus occupied. He said, he need more of me. Let me send Elijah who was there before. Let me send Moses who was there before. And Peter saw this. This is why Peter said, Master, it's better we stay here. Because what he saw, it was something which you cannot explain. People of God, it is not enough for anyone to say I'm a child of God without a link to talk to your father. In this world, there are so many things that can bring one down. So many. So many. The people that you love, the people that you trust, friends can bring you down. Friends can gang up and start what? Fighting you. The people that you love, they will start fighting you. The only way to overcome this is to hear from above. If you cannot hear, you'll be disappointed. Why I trust this one? Why I love this one? Why are they treating me like this? Let me just die. Where are you going? If you commit suicide, where are you going? You don't know where you are going. This Christianity we are calling, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. You have never heard the voice of your father in heaven. Not even a sign of his finger upon your life. Our life is in danger. Lying down in the coffin and people are celebrating your life that he was a Christian doesn't mean that even heaven is celebrating your life. You need to know before you depart from this world. Jesus knew what is going to happen to him in the next few days. And he was confident enough to say, yes, I'm going back to my father. That is the life of every believer. When you are praying and fasting, 
Who is there with you? Who controls your spiritual life? Because there is no way you can tell me that when you are fasting, you cannot sleep. You'll be just watching like this, oh Jesus. No. You'll be sleeping. In fact, sleeping will be more than prayer. Mm -hmm. Fasting. You can pray for uh, 10 minutes, one hour sleeping. Because the body is tired. And that is the time now your enemy will take advantage. If Jesus is not there to come and afflict you, when you are wake up, you discover that you are eating in the dream. Ah, I'm praying again, I'm eating. They don't care. They don't care whether you are fasting, total, partial. They don't care. The only thing that can scare them, the presence of God. Moses and Elijah appeared to Jesus. Who appeared to you when you were praying? Who is there for you? When you are going through a lot of problems and you are fasting, how are you going to know that God has already answered your prayer without the sign? You need to see something. Ah, if, if you can't see it physically, at least when you are sleeping, your dreams must tell you that God has answered your prayer. When you wake up, you say, ah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Satan is defeated. Satan, shame on you. You are just alone. Oh, power. Because of what you saw in the dream. God Almighty is always there for his children. And you are one of his children. Prayer is the way to communicate to our Father. When you pray, you need to see a sign that Jesus is here. God has answered my prayer. Thank you. God bless you.